A COVID outbreak has again thrown the AFL season into turmoil, with Port Adelaide forced to unpack its bags. Port Adelaide was due to fly to the Gold Coast tomorrow afternoon. Instead, it'll now stay in Melbourne and play the Giants at Marble Stadium at a later time of 5.40. on the game so far. He has now. That's an outstanding goal. Both. The bounce. Butters. In a flash. Poor answer. Showed some guts in the second to fight their way back. And now for the lead. He is never going to miss a third time. Toby Green puts it through and puts them in front. Same influence tonight, but he can right here and right now, and he does. A couple of sharpshooters in this quarter has made a big difference. Donna, he is a big kick. He might have softened that for Laddams. He got to keep tabs on him. Fantasia takes his turn, and things are falling into place for Port. This great combat football in the tight spaces. Dersma knew the way through, and a oh, great kick from Dersma. Kick out. And the siren sounds. They had to see off repeated challenges from the Giants, but Port Adelaide able to overcome what was a top eight team. You can't keep saying too much about Trav other than he deserves everything he's getting. Um, you know, he's, you know he's, he's gone past Kane now as a club record holder in games played at AFL level. The number won't be just broken, it'll be smashed. That, that's what probably is the best thing I can say about Trav. He's not going to. He's not going to just play 302 or 303. He's, he's probably on track with the way he's going to play somewhere close to 350 and above, I'd imagine. But who knows? Footy's a hard game. 